Hello and welcome to a tutorial on getting a overlay for Planet Side 2 or any FPS game that you want or if you want a dot in the center of your screen. Woohoo! Um, so this uses PlayClaw. PlayClaw is a streaming slash recording software that also has overlays that you can see on your screen. That's why we use it. Uh, PlayClaw 6 has a watermark. That's what this button will give you you want PlayClaw 5. Uh, PlayClaw 5 does not have that watermark, so it's literally just the dot if you want it. It's got a few other little doodads that you can add, but I'll just show you how to do the uh, the dot. Um, so what you want to do is you want to download PlayClaw 5, save the file, whatever. I already have downloaded, so we'll just go here to save a little bit of time. It's going to pop up with a admin um, admin prompt. Hit accept. Uh, you could create a desktop icon or a quick launch icon, uh, and then you want to hit install. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it installed. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to download this. There's a link in the description for the the reticles. Uh, what you can do is you can either download all of them if you want all of them, or you can just download whichever one you want. If you want like a dot outline, you can go in here, small, whatever. Choose your color. Uh, so this is all very organized. You can see all the different dots in here, whatever you want. Then the one that I'll be using is a the the green uh, MLG dot outline because memes. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this into a spot that you really want. So you can hit download. Uh, I already have it. In a path that I'll keep which was in my down in my downloads I downloaded the whole folder so this will be the one that I'm using right here the green so then what you want to do is you want to launch PlayCloth 5 and now comes the most tedious part about this when you launch it it'll pop up with a window that says this you just hit try it and then oftentimes it doesn't actually launch right now and it'll show this window right here um, all you have to do is keep on keep on trucking, just relaunch it. Then you go to plugins, which is this little purple ish with the three squares and the plus. Then you go to image overlay. The rest of these are those other things that you want. Like you could even do a twist chat overlay if you really want. Then you go to plugin settings. Uh, here is where you will select your picture. So I'm gonna use the green PNG. Then you make sure that it's 100% visible. Do not do stretch image, do not do bound, whatever, unless you want to toggle in the, the image, whatever, fading time, meh. So that's that. Then what you want to do is you want to close play cloth. Then you go to, from here, I will have this linked in the description too because it's got this hidden folder here. Uh, to get hidden folders without that checked, you get none of it so there's no program data you show hidden items there's program data you go program data to play cloth 5 profiles default.txt just follow that path line or cop I'll copy paste this and just copy paste that up there then you make sure that you got the right crosshair then what you need to do is a little bit of math so for a 1920 by 1080 screen you're changing these values here these two. A very important thing is actually sh getting the size of the the um, the reticle and then this whole package no matter if you get the smallest dot or one of these bigger reticles this dimensions will always be 64 by 64 so for that it's easy if you make your own you have to get the size of the actual image for this um, and there's a little bit of a formula. So for these for these numbers here, to get these numbers, you have to take your width, which will be your x, because it's like an x and y graph, whatever, uh, divided by two to get it right in the middle. So you want that right in the middle. But that's gonna be the top left of the corner of the image. It doesn't center the image on that, on 960. So you're at the top corner so you have to get the center of the image to that top left corner so what you do is you raise it by half the image so 
then you take uh, minus 64 divided by 2 gives you 928. So there's that first number, 928. So you just type it in there, whatever. Then for the next one, you take 1080 divided by 2 equals 540 minus that 64 divided by 2 equals 508. So there's your 508. Then there's one more thing that you have to change, and that is the plug-in overlay image size. So if it's 64 wide, which mine is, it would be 64. And then Y would be 64 as well, because it's a 64 by 64 image. If it was a 128 by 64 or whatever, then this top number would be 128, and this number would still be 64. Um, then what you do is you hit Save. I highly recommend uh, making the default.txt. I highly recommend putting it to read only. That way you don't mess anything up, and it does, and the program doesn't mess anything up because it will change stuff. Uh, close that, close it, whatever. Then you have to launch PlayCloth Five. Okay, so it just launched. Woohoo! Don't touch anything on that. Launch your game, Planet Side, Apex Legends, any game that is an FPS. Here we are in game. You can see the reticle is right there to show you that it is in fact centered. There's an easy way to tell and that is by pulling out a med kit because the med kit has a nice little T in it and it's an overlay. So I'm in cold here so I don't have med kits with who. Equip a med kit. Make sure that that dot is right in the middle of that med kit. That is the overlay part of the tutorial over. I will show you how to change the color of the reticle because I like mine magenta, which is kind of like an opposite color of the green. That way, if there is a difference in color behind, like somebody somewhere you're looking is green, you can see the purple or the magenta around it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is close the game, launch the game, but don't actually press play. What you're going to want to do is go to advanced tools, go to open game directory, go to your INI. If you know how to do your INI, whatever, you can go find it there. Then you need to find, under UI, you need to find tint reticle style and tint reticle color. Tint reticle style, you'll want to change to 1. Tint reticle color, you'll want the decimal of the color you want. So to get the color of the decimal that you want, um, basically you go to this website, which I'll have linked in the description, and you get to the color mixer. The color mixer allows you to choose what color you want. I like magenta, some people might like green, you can do that. If you know the hexadecimal, you can do that. So if I wanted like black, you could do that. If you wanted white, you could just do FFFFFFF. Um, but I want magenta, so we'll go with that. Then you copy the second number, the hexadecimal will not work. Copy the hexadecimal, you go back to your INI where it says tint mode reticle color. You paste that right into there, you know, control C, control V. Great. Then you hit file, save. Then you go back to your game and then you press play. So then once you're in the game, you can see my reticle is no longer yellow. It is that magenta. Um, the kami you can't really see because the, the dot is so small. But like if I took out the daimyo, you can see it's magenta. Um, so yeah, that's how you change your in-game reticle. If you made it white, you can't really see it that much. So yeah, that is how you get an overlay and change your, your reticle. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.